Hello and welcome to this first micro bite, a short video on how to use the BBC micro bit. My name's Andrew. Uh, my name's Dan. And we're a couple of uh, Computing at School master teachers, so we have been very fortunate enough to receive one of these, which is a prototype of the BBC micro bit. Uh, and so this short series of videos is looking at these. Uh, shall, shall I give a quick tour? Quick tour of the device would be very useful, Dan. Go. Okay, so uh, this is the BBC micro bit. We'll start uh, on the back, actually, where we've got two buttons, button A and button B, and then 25 little red LED lights in a matrix or display here, and you can do all sorts of things with those. Uh, down the bottom, you can see that we've got uh, some uh, electrical connections. You can use crocodile clips and things to make those things do stuff. And then on this side, you can see all the circuitry. So you can see the processor and the compass and the accelerometer. And then up here, we've got uh, Bluetooth and a reset button. And then on the top, we've got uh, both a USB connection and a connector for a battery pack if you want to run it on its own power supply without being connected to a computer. Great, and uh, so here's the battery pack that comes with it. Um, but in order to actually use the thing, you first got to plug it into a computer. So let's get started. It's really easy. Um, it should hopefully, Remember, this is a prototype, so it should come with a micro USB cable. So I'm just going to plug that right in here. And I'm just going to make sure I get this the right way up. Plug that in there. Okay, so there's the thing. And it's kind of doing something at the moment, but that's because it already has a program on it. What we're going to do now is we're going to use the website to program it. And that's all you do. And they've made this website very much simpler than it used to be. Um, you used to have to do lots of complicated logging in and things. Yeah. These days, you really don't. Mm -hmm. So you go to microbit.co.uk, you'll be presented with this screen, and all you do is you say create code. And we have some choices here. Yeah, so there's three choices that you can see on our screen right here, which is the Code Kingdom's JavaScript editor, the Microsoft Block editor, and Microsoft Touch Develop. And more are coming online all the time. I know that there's a version of Python that's going to be used here, which is a popular program for schools. I think that's just down there. Python yeah, coming, so it's soon. coming soon. And others might be added as we go along. Um, but we're going to start, I think, with the block editor. Yeah, we're going to do the classic yeah. Hello World program, Absolutely. which is where you always start when learning a new programming language or anything. So I'm just going to go to block editor and click new project. And it says I'm not signed in. That's because I usually am signed in. But um, hopefully that will go away in a minute. Yes, it did. Great. Um, so this is very much like Scratch. And in fact, I think I'm going to use it with my year sevens to replace Scratch because this is such great fun. Um, so the classic Hello World. There's lots of choices of things here. I'm just going to go to Basic. And you can see the, this block here. It says Hello World. Um, and I just clicked it and it's on. There yeah, and go. if you've used something like Scratch or uh, maybe some of the code.org hour of code activities, it's a very, very similar interface with the Lego bricks that kind of, oh, I've said Lego, can't say Lego. But anyway, with the bricks that you could just put into place. The interlocking Dutch bricks. The interlocking Dutch bricks. Are they Dutch? Danish. Danish. We'll cut that bit out. <laughs> uh, and then we click Run. And up comes the simulator and it shows you what happens when you run it. So it is possible to do micro bit lessons without, without a micro bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, and certainly if you are a teacher and you're trying to get to grips with this thing, get on the website and start playing with it. Okay, so that said hello world. Um, How do we make that come up on here? Well, That's where the fun is. Exactly, so what you've got to do is you've got to press compile. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this so that people can see it. Okay. While you go through these steps. All right, so I'm gonna go through these steps. So I'm gonna go compile and it's gonna save it somewhere. So I'm gonna go, ah, now can you see already down here it says micro bit because mm -hmm. my computer has found it. That's very good. Yeah, when you plug it in, it shows yeah. up like that. So I don't know where this is. So I'm gonna just go to my desktop and just save it there. And it's called micro bit fabulous script. They like to do their amusing names. Um, anyway, I'm gonna call it just save there. And then if I open that folder again, here we go. Now, there it is there, microbitfabricscript.hex. And all I have to do to put it on my microbit is first find my <laughs> microbit. Where did that go? It's in computer. computer. Yeah. Is Added it, as a drive. Yeah. Just drag and drop. Then we get some crazy orange flashing lights while it transfers. And once it has transferred... Which it will done. Very close. It there starts to scroll a message. Hello. Whoa. 
There you go. Now, the great thing is, of course, now we've got hello world, that is just a variable, it's a string, so we can change it to something. What should we change it to? How about microbit is awesome? Yes. Too long? Maybe. Microbit. 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 Okay, so I'm going to compile. It's compiling. I'm going to save. I'm just going to save over that old one. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. That is done, I think. Oop, there we are. And just drag and drop. Flashing orange Again, light. Flashing orange light means it's uh, transferring across the compiled script. And then on the other side, when it's finished compiling, it auto runs. There you go. So that's how easy it is to make a program. Uh, that's how e easy it is to get this LED display going. Yeah. Um, and, and also, if I may just grab that off you, if you unplug that like that, and then just plug your batteries in, uh, you've got to get them the right way around, it just goes. It on just its does own. on its own. And then if you're really cool like me, you can put your name. <laughs> oh, I can't. My pocket's sewn up. But there, look. It's a name tag. Isn't that awesome? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we think it's fun. Um, we're going to do lots more videos uh, with more interesting things than Hello World. Um, so please uh, tune in when we do those. And don't forget, like, subscribe.